I know teams, different year, different teams, but you've been a part of a team that came back. What's the key uh, in that scenario? When you come well, back? just uh, you got to focus on you know what's in front of you. You can't look back. You can't fix uh, what's behind you, but you can fix things going forward. And uh, we get an opportunity to start fixing it. You know, in Carolina, would be a, they got. It looks like they have a great atmosphere. They're playing well, and we're going to have to go in there and win a hockey game. Plain and simple. How meaningful is it the success you've enjoyed during the year on the road and the fact that you're two for two on the road in the playoffs? Well, it, it, it doesn't hurt. I, I, I think we're very comfortable on the road. Um, it hasn't bothered us at all. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think sometimes on the road you can get a little more focused, uh, believe it or not. Uh, you know, it's uh, you against the world. Uh, some teams are better that way. Some teams aren't. Uh, we've been, you know, pretty even kill all, all year, home and, home and, uh, and away. And uh, so we're going to go in there. We know we've got a big task in front of us, and it starts tomorrow night. Do you think you have to get back to the island of hockey of, of you know, controlling the puck, second chances? Well, yeah, you know, you got to give the, the Carolina some credit. They've, they, they're they a high-pressure team. They've got, uh, you know, they've got a very mobile defense. They get on, on you, and it's, uh, they can separate. They, they swarm you. They, they, it's like we swarm people at times. So... Um, you know, we've got some, some ideas that we want to implement a little bit, a little subtle changes that hopefully will give us a little more, um, you know, a little more success. You know, for me, we've been a good five-on-five five team all year, uh, you know, uh, goals for and goals against. Uh, it's been really strong all year. We've got, of course, some goals. We've scored one goal in two games. That's not enough for us to, to beat good hockey teams at this, this time of year. So uh, chances, we're getting chances. And uh, we, as I said, we've played well enough to – um, maybe be up 2-0, but we've played poor enough to be down 2-0. So it's a fine line. I mean, we've had zero adversity through the playoffs. Uh, I feel, you know, we've had a couple, you know, uh, in the first series they scored, uh, we responded real quick. Um, as it goes on, you're going to have to go through, them, go through some adversity if you're going to, uh, you know, go on in, uh, and go deep in the playoffs. Every team has that, that, those moments where it, uh, there's adversity, things don't go your way. Uh, you know, yeah, just like we had uh, the, fir- the first minute of the uh, third period. Didn't go our way and, and put us in a, a little bit of a bind. So um, at the same time, that it, sometimes you need a little bit of desperation uh, in your game or, you know, someone punch you in, a, in the nose a little bit to wake you up and, uh, and get you a little bit mad. So I, I think we're a little bit angry and, and ready to go. So that might be a good sign for us. What's the confidence level of this group? This confidence, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, they all year, as I said to this group, this group has been resilient from, uh, you don't get 103 points by not being resilient. We had a number of injuries too. We still have a lot of injuries as well. And we just keep sort of, you know, plodding along and doing our thing. And that's, uh, that's, there's a lot of trust in the group, but we need uh, for us to be successful against a good team like Carolina. We need, you know, a hundred percent commitment right through the lineup, every player, every situation and if you do that then you, you you put yourself in a great chance to have success if Del Cole does go into a lineup he hasn't been in for a while it's sort of the same thing when you have a, a long layoff there is, is, there, is it going to take him a little bit to get back up to where he needs to be? no I, I don't think so um, what I've it seems to, to happen I think when guys come back in regular season they have a harder time I just think that they in the playoffs and I've had people uh even last year that, that didn't play for, for over a month and then they're playing in game six in the second round and we're big, big contributors in it. And uh, uh, so I, I think the excitement of, of, of that, if he gets in, uh, I think that'll sort of, uh, he's been uh, a, a player who's worked hard uh, and we've got some character people uh, that are sort of not playing right now and they compete like all get out. And that's been really good for, for Michael and in that group, so uh, I, I think he'll be ready. I really do. Okay, brother, he was okay. At the end of the other game. Yeah, okay, no, he was fine. He was fine. He was messing around again today, so throwing his weight around. <laughs> Barry, you like to call the Sadiq's line the identity line. So if Chow can go, do you use some of that identity? Well, I think uh, I think they're best when all three of them are together. Um, but I, I, whoever I put in there has to understand that uh, they, they do a good job of communicating. I don't know if it would be the same or not until you we, we do it. But we've had Cal out for a, a little bit this year, and we've put uh, different people there. So uh, we'll just see where we are tomorrow morning. Uh, but uh, Cal Cal is uh, 
you know, he's coming on a trip. He's, you know, he's doing what he needs to do, and we'll see where he is tomorrow, and then we'll make a decision. But uh, I, I think it, it'll be a little bit different. It has to be. They've played, I mean, so many minutes together. Uh, you guys could tell me how many minutes they played together as a group and over the years, and it's a lot. Well, that's and, and they they know where they are instinctively. You got so much from from Bailey and Brock in, in the last series. Is there a belief that that? You're going to get that from them. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they, they've got a lot in their bank account with me. They're, they're key players for us. Uh, you know, um, that, that's why it, this is such a great time of the year is that um, teams and you, ha- and you have different lines contributing uh, to have success when, you know, a lot of times the top lines are, are, are sort of, you know, sort of evening ch- uh, each other out and, and balancing them out. And then, uh, they, you know, a, a a line like the Phil's or, or Casey's can make a difference. And, uh, you know, uh, Nelly, Nelly was, uh, and then Bales were really the top, top shelf in the, in the first series. Um, have a little bit of a slow start right now. I, I, they've got lots. I, they're quality people. Uh, they're good players, and they're, they're going to help us uh, win this series. Scott Mayfield had a pretty active game. Uh, just where have you seen his game throughout the playoffs and just maybe with Boychuk out, has he kind of taken over that physical kind of Yeah, no, uh, uh, Scotty is a physical uh, uh, player at the, at the best of times, but he's really taken you know, more of those minutes uh, with Johnny. Johnny plays through you hard. I mean, Johnny is, uh, as I say, he's, a, he's got that junkyard mentality. Everything he does, he's, he's doing it hard. You know, he's taking you out hard. He's, he's battling in front hard. Um, he, getting pucks out, uh, there's no question that he's he's finding a way to do that. He's all in, and, and uh, Scotty's had to pick up some of those minutes, and Hicks has to pick up some of those minutes because they're in terms of the role. Uh, but Hicks is not as you know big and physical as obviously uh, Maisie is. So uh, you know we've got a couple of young defensemen on the back end who've grown you know, with leaps and bounds this year, uh, and that's really good for our group. And these experiences are really good for them. Did you, enjoy, did, you, did you enjoy it when uh, Barzell went back up Jordan Stahl the other day? Yeah, I did. Uh, and I, I'm sure Stahl did too. So I, I think what you what you find when you find about how competitive guys are is when they they won't give an inch. And that's, you know, uh, there's quality guys. I know, you know, Jordan Stahl's a, uh, he's a, a quality leader for that team and he's got uh, lots of compete and he's a big part of that. And he's got tons of experience compared to, to Barzi. But to see Barzi, uh, not you know, he's not backing down. He's he's going head to head against top people. He, uh, I love that. That just shows his, his high compete level, um, wanting to win. And he, you know, that's that's what the playoffs are. It's about trying to you know win that inch and to be a top player in this league. Uh, regular season playoffs. Uh, you know, obviously the playoffs you, you can really make a name for yourself in the playoffs, but. You have to. The top players have to fight for every inch to be a top player in this league. There's lots of skilled guys who could be top players, but they're not willing to fight for those inches. And uh, I said, there's two kinds of, of players. There's there's players and there's businessmen. And then we're looking for players. How do you keep the urgency in check? You know, how do you, my question is, how do you keep from trying to win two games in one night? Well, uh, you can't. Yeah. So there, there's no sense thinking about it. Just worry about you know your shift and, and the first period, and we'll go from there. Yeah, it just it's a process. You, you, like I said, you lose one game, you know everybody's saying, well, you know that you know this is a, a must win. There's only one, you know, sort of must win game is when you've lost three, and 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 your back's against the wall. You always have a chance. Obviously, the odds are diminished. Obviously, the more that you dig yourself deeper, um, but at the same time. These games, if you start off poorly, and I've, you know, uh, from my past experience, when you've dug yourself a little bit of a hole and you dig yourself out of that hole, I'll tell you what, you become a pretty strong team, and and that's part of what you know, we've got to do. We've got to dig ourselves out of a hole here, and uh, let's get on even ground, and let's just, you know, then we can start, you know, punching them straight up. But is there a frustration because you've dug the hole and yet it's only one minute of one game and an overtime goal in another game? Is well, there's, does there, luck have to even out? Well, I, it never, I always say there's hockey gods. If you keep doing the right things, they usually even it out. Um, sometimes they're, they're mean and uh, you can't understand it, but you're, they're getting you ready for the, uh, hopefully a future success. So, um, yeah, I, I just think you've got to just keep believing, keep doing the right things and keep, keep the process going because... Uh, when you start 
getting away from everything that you do well, then you get nothing accomplished. And then, uh, you know, uh, don't ma mistake activity for achievement sometimes. You know, uh, you make sure that you're doing your job, you're doing it well, you're doing your details. We, we get our structure, we, we're in people's faces, we're going to the hard areas, we're winning our battles and our races. And if we do all that, then if we do it over and over and over and over again, then we hopefully will have some success. And, you know, we had a ton of chances uh, in, in uh, last game. And yeah, if it was, if we, if you get games on, on chances and shots, then, then we won't need that, that the scoreboard. And there's only the one thing that matters is how many goals you get. And we haven't scored enough for, for Robin. I mean, we've given up three goals in two games and we're down 0-2. Um, that's that's just reality. We've got to score some goals and maintain our identity as a good def defensive team.